Hello everyone, my name is Ovo XD and today I'm going to teach you how to build a good Pokemon Showdown team. So, if you're new to Pokemon Showdown, you're going to have to want to make some teams, otherwise you can't play the game. So, once you come back, you'll come onto the game, you'll come to the home menu. You go down to Team Builder, and then you create a new team. Call the team whatever you want, so I just call it YT for YouTube. And then you can select what you want it for. <coughs> right, for, uh, I'm gonna use just know you. Just wait for it to load. Okay. So to know what Pokemon that O U and what's Uber U U whatever, it will say above it. Right there, that's O U. There. I actually don't know what B L stands for. Limbo A. Limbo B, Limbo C, just Limbo. Where's UU? -U? The fuck? Where is UU? Have I gone past it or something? NFE. LC. Did I go past you? You must have. If I put you, you does it come up? Yeah, okay, no. Anyway, let's go get some Pokemon. So, a good tip for this is never have a Pokemon exact same types so like Flygon and a Garchomp. They're both a, they're both Dragon Ground, and it'd be a waste of a team member. So just choose your favorite out of the three. Three out of the two. And then, well, yeah, just use that one. So, let me think of a Pokemon to use. Huh. Okay, let's use the Gengar. Not Mega. Now, once you come, you come to this screen after that. And you should, you can nickname it if you want, so I'm going to call it what I call every single Gengar. And give it an item. Well, you could, I, I would could Mega Evolve it, but I'm not going to. I'll leave it Black Sludge. Then you click on Details, and then you can choose a level. It's like one, but obviously don't. Make it male or female. I don't even care, so I'm just going to keep it random. Happiness. One. <laughs> I could put yes or shiny, which makes it shiny. <coughs> Moves. So I'm going to give the Gengar that's an Ingleam, Destiny Bond. Shadow Ball's not there. There it is. And can it learn Psychic? I doubt it can. Oh, but we can. Damn. Impressive. And then you come to this menu after you've picked the moves. Now it says fast special sweeper. Now, <coughs> depending how you want to play, is what you want to give more uh, strength to. So speed, I'm gonna go all the way up, and special attack all the way up. Now um, we've got four left, so I may as well just put it in special defense. <coughs> now I could go for either a speed boost in nature or a special attack boost in nature. So I'm gonna go for a speed nature. And that's the first Pokemon done. Now, normally, fire types, water types, steel types. Actually, not so much steel types, but there's always flying dragons and fires and waters, waters and every fucking battle you go into. So, the go a good counter to that is either something really fast and powerful, or something that can swap types. Hashtag Aaron Ninja. Can I meet you, Shiny? Oh, Well, that's just yes for ahead of it. So, I'm going to call it after the f my first um, Greninja. Ignore it. And I'm going to give it... Huh. If 
anything good down here? I'll give a choice band. Protein, which gives it busy swap types. Special attacks better, so I'm going to go for a dark pulse. Grass knot. Surf. And. Ice beam. What the hell's this? Ah, it's very much protect. Speed up, special attack up. That's how I usually roll. Give it a speed boost to nature again. And some people use Pokemon that can set up disasters or traps when a Pokemon comes in. The best one to choose from is uh, what's its face? Oh, Fortress, that's it. Fortress. Because it can learn a lot of moves. So, I'm going to call it Meatball. Just Meatball. Give it the red, this is my strategy, the red card. And Sturdy. Definitely Sturdy. Now, what you want to give it to it is Stealth Rocks. Oops. Spikes and toxic spikes, and then whatever you want for the last move. So I usually keep explosion. So I'm, after that I'm done. So I make the defense and HP go all the way up. Defense boost in nature cause it doesn't matter what I have. Just do that. And yeah. I'm going to be doing a video to test out this cheat team as well. Alright, we don't have a grass type. So. Actually, no, I'm going to look for Galvantula for this one. I'm going to call it Spooderman. Hmm. Yeah. Mean. Well, I said Spooderman, so it has to be male. That doesn't make no sense. Actually, fuck it, why not? Uh, oh, wait, what was that? Zoom lens, nah. Just a zap plate to get stronger. Compound eyes. Bug buzz. Hmm. Nah. Ooh, quad poison. Alright, I'll go over hidden powers. Hidden powers you can have of any type, so let's just type in. So, if Galvantula is bug and electric, its threats are rock, fire. Wait, does bug resist ground? I can't remember. Ah, uh, whatever. And so that was one more. That's it, I believe. So fire <coughs> and rock. And they both don't like water, so a hidden power of water would be the best choice. And let's give it Thunderbolt. I'm gonna give my one thunder wave as well, just so I can paralyze the opponent. So wow, so so many of my Pokemon are fucking fast and special attacked. That's quite bad. I need a physical attacker. Yeah, I need to get a physical attacker next. Never f run a full team of the same attacking moves. By that I mean like just special attackers, just physical attackers, because someone sets up a light screen or a flex, you're fucked. There's actually nothing you can do after that point. Anyway, what's a good physical attacker? Conqueror is, but I don't like Conqueror. <laughs> Excadrill, yeah. Nah, 
Mach schon Kohle. Hihi. Give a life orb. Um. Mold breaker will be good. Drop like an earthquake. Poison jab. Iron head. And what could be good to just surprise the. Oh, rapid spin, yeah. Just so try and sell for me. HP and attack and adamant nature. Damn, that's a major attack. And I guess I can have another physical attacker just to balance it out. I'm gonna go with my Don fan. I like Don fan. Gonna name it after a assault member. Hee <laughs> hee. Oops, wait, isn't it capital S? And I'll be given. Hmm. Life orb, why not? Let's give us keep sturdy, why not? Earthquake. Ice shard, definitely. Gunk shots f physical? Wow, didn't know that. May as well have it now. And why not head smash? Mm. Nah, there's no point in having physical defense. Actually, there is. Be defensive wall. Give it adamant as well. Yeah, that's the team. I forgot about the team builder. I'll go back here. If you just see them all. And that's pretty much all you gotta do. Just don't ever go insane with the same types. So I know I have two steel types, but they're not the exact same type. And I've got two ground types, but they're not the exact same type. So it's not that bad. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Next episode, I'll be testing out this team to see if they're shit or good. See you guys next time. Peace.